Oh my gosh, this is such a hassle. I don't even think I'll be able to do this. Doing since giving pajamas. Happy birthday. Hello, how are you? job it's the first time i think i've ever liked a braided hairstyle because i usually hate braids and i really love it so it's like medium not less and she put in these curls in it and it just looks cute and i styled it up a little bit today by putting in a clip um but yeah i'm i'm loving it i'm obsessed sorry i'm looking in the viewfinder on myself I just think it suits me so well. I love it like a nice fresh do like I feel like I should be going on vacation with this hairstyle to be honest with you. Like I should be going on a getaway, like a little vacation, you know what I mean? And it's not tight at all, I can move. It's just I slept well on it. It's just I love it. But anyway, I'm at work now. I'm about to take my magic mind shot. You guys, like, y'all know how I feel about this already. So good, like, it really has increased my productivity. And although I got these, like, from the brand, I will be continue. I will continue, like, purchasing because I really like it. As I told you guys, it boosts your energy, it helps you relax, it keeps you focused. It also helps with immunity, you know, I'm always getting sick it, <laughs> because it has vitamin C and D as well. So I really, really like it. And you guys know I need energy because between work, work and YouTube, because in the day, I have to be fully focused on work and then when I get home, I usually try to edit my vlogs and then on weekends, you know, I'm vlogging. So, I got a lot going on. So, this has been helping. My magic mind has been helping a lot. And again, the discount code will be in my description box. So good. Alright, so... I have a meeting in the next half hour, so I'm gonna prep for that. Alright, so I'll talk to you guys. And it's actually Wednesday, and you know, I generally don't record on a Wednesday. Well, I don't record really during the week. I'm a weekend vlogger, but it's a special occasion. Today is my husband's birthday. Today is Duren's birthday. So we are getting ready to head to dinner to celebrate his birthday. It's very low key this year. Last year we did the whole surprise party and everything, but this year very low key. So we're heading to we're gonna go to Bozo. That's the new Bozo Jamaica, which is the new Italian restaurant that opened recently. Where um yeah, you know, once a new restaurant opens in Jamaica, everybody generally rush it. Um, but it has gotten good reviews and Duane actually wanted to go because he was the one that um, suggested it. So I said, okay. That's where we're doing your little birthday dinner. So him and I, we're going to dinner and then when we come home, we do a little um, cut cake. But you guys can see I braided my hair. 
which I actually really really like I like it a lot um, but I don't know like I think I may just style it and put it in one but I think I have to like do my makeup first and then do the styling to see you know how I feel about it but yeah let me go do my makeup now and we'll figure out the hair situation after done with my makeup now it really isn't anything special I need to do my lips um, but it's just the typical makeup um, routine that I generally do the only thing I did different is I pulled out my elf poreless putty primer which I've had for so long and I was not using it until I saw that apparently it was trending on um, and look what Bailey come out of her crib. It was trending on TikTok as like a holy grail, really good item. <laughs> Is it that well ago? Bailey, stop. You know she would walk yes. in the thing because she has this thing on her. She have on her blanket. I just put her down. Like this is the reality. I just oh put her down to sleep because my friend is coming over to stay with her. And now she is out. But anyway. Yeah, so I'm thinking of putting my hair up. Um, I'm not sure if I want to do it like in one one. Or do like if I want to do all of it up like this and do like a high top oh my gosh this is such a hassle I don't even think I'll be able to do this it's either yeah I think I might try this time or I was gonna do like half up half down jeez um, this is a lot of work but yeah I think I'm gonna put my hair up like this but yeah let me just deal with all of this and then um come back all right so this is what i'm working with i actually didn't even secure it like i just tuck it underneath and it was work so i'm gonna use some braid spray and this is the braid spray that i will be using and just like spray in between This just adds like a little sheen to it so it don't look so dry and also I like how it feels on my scalp like it's really cooling and it does help with the itch as well um, and then I'm gonna do my edges I'm not like a big edges girl so yeah so let me just do that finish up and then we're gonna get dressed because we are running behind as usual it's 8 25 now and our reservation is at nine o'clock i feel like my hairstyle is giving crystal tomlinson like sister locks type vibes <laughs> um but yeah these are my outfit choices i have this orange dress which you can't really tell from the hang off this orange dress I have this orange shirt and pants and this is this is Fashion Nova. This is Primark, I believe. And then the other option is this. It's a shirt and pants. Like we call it set. Um and this was from Forever 21. I'm leaning towards this because I kinda just want to be comfortable. The dress is pretty sexy, which I don't think the restaurant, like, I don't think it's this vibe. So I think I may just go with this. So let me put that on and we'll see how we're looking. thinking I may do this as a crop, um, as like a crop top. Yeah, I'm wondering if I should do this as a crop top type of thing. Um, because it's not what I thought it would be given. Like, it's too rich, Auntie. What do you think about this, babe? Is it a yes? 
If I button it up or you think I should. Um, you button it up like it. You get that pajama virus. Doing since giving pajamas. And maybe because also my hair is up. What if I do crop top like. Alright, let me see. Let's see if I can create like a little design, like crop top design thing. If I push it under my bra. This is better? Sure. Mm? Yeah, that's better, baby. You have to go. Yeah, but I don't like. I don't like the outfit. I need yeah, to change my earring. Huh? I don't have no other options right now. I need to change my earring and put on something on my lips. So I think I'm done. Um, not in love, in love with the outfit, but we move. So this is the scent of the night. Miss Dior and I'm carrying my Brandon. Ah, oh, that tastes a perfume. Anyway, I'm carrying the Brandon Blackwood bag. Um, but yeah, not feeling the outfit, but. We move and I think the, every time like I want to love this lipstick, but I just can't, man. It's too dark. Uh, okay. Let's see if this lightens it up. Anyway, late. So, bye. <laughs>
actually Thursday night and I'm starting like phase one of this DIY project that I want to do and I have to well over the weekend I, I want to do it over the weekend but I need to get the supplies tomorrow or actually try to get the supplies tomorrow because if I leave it for Saturday I won't be able to do it. I won't be able to go to the hardware store with Bailey because you can just imagine how chaotic that would be. So I'm trying to like strategize to say, okay, plan from Thursday, plan Thursday night, Friday, I will try to get the supplies at the hardware store. And then on Saturday, while I'm at home, I can work on the project. And it's actually um, to do something about this blank wall behind the couch. Um, I don't know if I told you guys that I really want to do something to it. And I couldn't figure out exactly what I want to do. So I decided that I'm going to do like a panel wall. Which I've always wanted. But part of me is like. I feel like it's a trendy thing. That may eventually go out of style. But I still really like it. So I'm just going to go for it. And try to do it myself. Um, I want to show you guys. What I'm thinking of doing. I'm actually going to go on. Pin, pin, sorry. I'm going to actually go on Pinterest as well. To look for inspiration because that is like part one of it to find some inspiration i was trying to look at my phone because i'd saved some on instagram but i can't find it right now and my phone is about to die <coughs> but i'm going to go on pinterest and see if i can find some inspiration in terms of what i want it to look like in terms of the design for the panels i'm thinking i may end up doing three um but we will see based on the idea so i really want to get the measurements and so on so i know like what type of molding i'm buying and how long it's supposed to be and you know stuff like that so i need to get that organized before i go to the hardware store okay so this is a little bit so hopefully it's picking up nicely but this is like the molding I am thinking of but I don't know one of my issues is I don't know if I should do two like an inside and outside um, layer or if I should just do the single molding but we'll see what we find what they have at the hardware store but um, I think I'll start with the outside first and then decide whether or not I want to add um, the inside part like the inside frame let me see what else um, yeah like this is a single single panel it doesn't have the inside um, frame so it would be top and bottom yeah so I was saying if I put the bottom panel for the most part it's going to be hidden by the coach because as you can see the coach will kind of like block the bottom part um but i still think i want to do it because some part of it would show especially like to this side of the room and it would look i think it would look weird if i don't put the bottom part so i'm going to do the measurements for that um as well I don't even know what I'm doing to be honest with you completely I have an idea but I'm not 100% confident but we're going it and see how it turn out trial and error worst case scenario we we'll just take them down and call a professional to come and do it but I think I can manage to do it I'm gonna try I'm gonna try my best the only thing the hardest part I think will be for me is to attach them to the wall 
so I'm gonna figure out like a non screwing option because I really don't want to have to drill but we will see but tonight my main focus right now is to just do the measurements so that I can buy the moldings tomorrow and figure out the rest after that that the, that's the main thing tonight you just want to know what you have to work with So this is what we have so far. I'm not done, but for now, I don't need to necessarily map out everything. I just needed an idea of the measurements and spacing and how everything would look. And I don't mind. It looks good to me. The only issue I think I will encounter is like the plug here. You can see like there's an overlap there so i have to figure out i think i probably will need to cut through the mold in here but the thing is so i may just cut it like here but the thing about it is that the couch hides this part so it won't show that much and then i'll put the other tape in to see how much it overlaps with the plug on that side as well but this is good i think the spacing is good first i was thinking of doing three panels but um four will definitely look better and actually work out so yeah good morning guys i am actually about to run in to get some cafe blue right now i have court this morning in the next like 40 minutes so i'm just trying to see if i can hurry hurry up and get some coffee and then um head to court so i'm looking for my, i was looking for my cafe blue card my loyalty card so you know i can get the benefits but yeah i had no coffee this morning and i need it so that's what um i'm doing right now and the best lattes at Cafe Blue. <laughs> and look how cute. Yeah. Coffee secured and it tastes so good. Yeah, so now I'm on my way to court and then after court I I'm trying to figure out what to do because today is like half of the day is going to be an errands type of day so I I'm thick because I need to go to Portmore I'm trying to figure out if I should go to Portmore before I go to the hardware store or if I should go to the hardware store and then go Portmore but I think I may just end up going yeah I'm going to go to Portmore first because since it's downtown and then I can just shot cross and then go Portmore and come back I need to pick up something from my aunt that my mom sent so that's why I'm going to put more and also she brought down Tracy's um, birthday gift because <laughs> she celebrated her birthday this week as well as you know you guys saw that Dwayne celebrated his as well um, so I need to collect her gift so I can give it to her this weekend um, Jamie is stocking now. These are <laughs> mother plants, 13.5. 
not it's not bad. It's not bad. similar to what I have. In the house, I'm going to get one of these. This one, can you It's a home store. Hmm? It's very nice. Some other options. I actually don't really. I like the things. No, it's good. And I think I like this top. <laughs> Almost all the people in the video. But I like this. So I think I may get one of these. But let's see. But yeah, I think I'm gonna get one of these pants. Sorry, in here is like noisy. But I like the things. I already have one in the living room. But I need another one. That one is nice. These are nice too. But I think it looks like a little bit too thick. Um, I need to find a See what else. If this is 50% off, then it's about 3,000. Lighting fixtures are cute too. Alright, so 50% off this. But I just don't know how I feel about the frosted lights. But I think this will look good in the living room. But this is it. I want white lights. I bought something like this that should be coming from Amazon for the dining room. <laughs> but I'm definitely getting that fig. And this only coming like the frosted version. Like I like it, but I'd want it like this white light. Yeah, yeah, or is I'll it that I can change, change the bulb? Yeah, just the bulb that needs to change. Sorry. Okay. They really have a lot of good options for lighting. Like, look at these. But well, this is not. Um, does this go with my aesthetic? Like contemporary modern. And this is seventeen thousand two hundred plus tax with fifty percent off. Why do I feel like many forget this for Bailey's room and change up the design in her room? I need to park and leave this place because I don't know money. Like everything is so nice. I'm in a Super Valley hardware now. So I'm heading to the lumber section to see if they have what I'm looking for but if not I may have to end up going to um, Phil's because I know that Phil's has it but I really like Super Value hardware because I'm sure they would be able to cut it for me so yeah let's look if I see anything that I like How do we feel about this? this uh, 
I just think this one plain. That's what I made it. Alright, so I am about to leave Super Value because that um the molding that they have, the chair molding, it's not gonna work for what I'm looking for because it's it's too plain, so it's not gonna pop, you know, how I want it to pop. So I'd seen something close to you know what I would like at Phil's. Um is feels yeah feels hardware a uh, few months ago so i think i'm just gonna head there and um see if they still have it in stock also find out if they're willing to cut it if not i would definitely have to go to a plumber that not a plumber when i have a plumber uh we call carpenter yes carpenter a carpenter that i usually use to make stuff for me and ask him to cut them in terms of how i'd want them uh, i really wanted to just knock out all of this right here and done um but yeah i'm going to go to fills and hopefully we find what we're looking for because i don't want it to spill over to tomorrow because I'm not running up and down on the road with Bailey Johnson tomorrow trying to get this done because that's impossible. If not, I'm just have to put it off to another. Um, I'd have to put it off for another time. But yeah, hopefully we can get it. So let's head to Phil's now. What, what is it called? Dido. Dido, yeah. I found that the last time. Yeah, this is similar to what I may want. Maybe two. Maybe I want. Okay, but anything wider? Yeah, but only the same for that. Huh? It will be the same design though. No man, not the same design, but a little. Because I'm doing panels, I want something to look nice. This. But you see, the thing is, the only way you see the true beauty is no, I don't like that one here. Is when it paint, don't. Yeah, but let me see where you have. Yes, yeah, so I'm in the warehouse, you know, and I'm looking at options for the design. But the truth is, you can't really see the beauty of them until they're painted. Um, but I don't want it too wide. I don't want them too wide and I also don't want it too narrow. This looks fairly decent, like this one. I'm not sure if you guys can see the design. And then let me show you the one that I, I said I saw a few months ago. I'm not sure if the design is picking up. But the thing is, I want, I don't want to have to do like a whole heap of smoothing down, and these just look like you have to sand it and all of them stuff here for it to be smooth. I was just hoping it would be ready to go, like smooth enough where I can just literally install it and then paint. Um, so it really is between this and you see how wide this one is in comparison to this two and three eighths would you guys be willing to cut it as well when you edit you when you um, but yeah, this is no, no, different. No, no, no. You see this one? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, my turn. I don't know what my turn means. No. You can explain to me if I want to. a square. I'm making a square, so just the, the corner so I can attach yeah, well, them yeah. into a square. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah man, yeah. my measurements. But I need to select like the smoothest ones. Right, this one.
finally I'm finally done at Phil's that took way longer than I anticipated so now I have to hurry and go and pick up Bailey because her school closes I'm gonna look for hand sanitizer because yeah, her school closes in the next um, five minutes, but we are basically five minutes away from her school, so that's not um, that's not too bad. But no, I'm happy that I got everything, but I feel so icky and sweaty and disgusting and i need to just but just want to i just want to go home and like have a shower let me put this on this i just want to go home go bed now because my my feet like my full of dust yeah guys my battery died after <laughs> i told y'all i was gonna go and pick up bailey but i dropped her home and then i came back to the office to do a few administrative stuff so now I'm heading home but I'm just like I'm exhausted like I'm exhausted I'm exhausted I'm exhausted and I'm hungry like some lunch here my lunch that I brought to work I'm put in the office this morning before I left for court it not eat in a touch like I am surviving on air right now i'm so hungry i am so hungry but not even know if my feel for eat that but i'm just gonna make i eat it anyway um but yeah today was successful i got my moldings and stuff and i can't wait to see the final sorry you know jamaican roads with bottles but I can't wait to see the final um, result of everything. But yeah, I am about to call my husband now and complain about how hard my day was. <laughs> morning, guys. So it's Saturday morning and I'm exhausted. You know my whole plan last night was to come home, read my book, relax and go to sleep. <laughs> I did none of that. I went on Netflix and I finished watching Sex Life. And as we come out of Sex Life, I realized that new Love is Blind episodes are up. And I love Love is Blind. I enjoy every season, even when it's corny. So I stayed up the entire night binging all the episodes. When I when I went to bed and I look at the time, that time they're doing fast asleep. When I go, I'm gonna look at the time. I'm gonna say 4:25. I'm gonna say what the like. And the thing is, the funny thing, I wasn't tired. It's just this morning now to get up because regardless of how I feel, you know, Bailey's waking up. So even if I wanted to sleep in. That's not an option right now. I just can't wait for her to go down for her nap so I can sleep. But I'm going to make some breakfast now for both of us. And I'm making one of her favorites, which is waffles. Sorry, I'm looking for this recipe that I usually use. Um, the waffle recipe. I can't find it. Mm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to be making her waffles no and um give her that and just hang out a bit also an electrician should be coming to install a light fixture that i got from Don's yesterday but no i'm very frightened so bought it yesterday installing it today no shame in my game um so i'm pretty excited about that the only thing i i checked the package a while ago and they don't it didn't come with any bulbs um so i may have to go on the road at some point to purchase that um to purchase the bulb for it and what else oh yes and 
the I'm going to start the panels on the wall as well today so I got a bunch of things going on and I haven't had my coffee as yet and it's 10 09 um, we we'll get it together we shall get it together but yeah Hello stranger it's been a minute since we last kicked it and by the way just got in town that I won't let come in this cloud it's all in the sky ruin my vibe and usually I don't do this often but since recruiting isn't an option Due to unusual rain and thunder, baby, I want... So, this is Bailey's breakfast. She'll have kiwi, strawberries, and the waffles. And the whipped cream is her favorite thing to eat. Do you like it, Bailey? And the electrician just called me that he's coming to install the new lighting fixture. So I'm looking at him. Call him back. The electrician just left and look at my lighting fixture. It looks so good and I put the plant that's what I got yesterday from Dunn's there and I kind of did like a little setup with this um, vase that I got from there yesterday but of course I'm not I don't think it belongs I'm gonna yeah I don't think I'll be using this here because it's just too low and you know I, um, I took out my pampas grass to just kind of test it out to see how it would look but yeah, I think it looks good. I think it goes well with the space. What do you guys think? But I'm definitely not using this here. Um, and the plant, of course, I'm gonna get a big plant out to put that in. But for now, I'll just leave it there. But yeah, it looks good. I just need to get the bulbs now, which he told me I can get at Active Home, but honestly don't feel like leaving my house with Bailey today. So yeah, I'll leave that for another day. But it works and it looks good. I like it. I think it goes well with the space. I think now that I put back the old... Um, arrangement floral arrangement thing that was there with the orchids i feel like i will definitely do something green for the centerpiece um for the table because i think the green helps tie back in the plant but i may still i may use these what i'm gonna do because i'm not doing silver i think i'm gonna try and spray paint the base of this because i don't mind them like they're tall and they're still in good shape i just need to wash them because honestly i was planning on giving them away but yeah i'm gonna keep them i'm just gonna wash them and spray paint here not sure in terms of what color i want to do yet or what i want oh or you know what i could do like the whole the potty clay looking thing that design that people are doing like the same the same textures like this i may just do that for like make it a little diy project um and do it and leave the orchids because i actually really like them i like the green i prefer the green to the pampas grass in terms of how everything ties in because look at it from here what do you guys think? Do you prefer the pampas grass or do you like the orchids with the greenery? 
and then of course I would change the um, the silver vase for the orchid sometimes like I feel weird like I'm in between saying vase or vase but yeah but I kind of like how this corner is looking um, so far still need to figure out what I am going to I still need to figure out what I'm going to do with this wall. Not sure yet, but this will be a project to itself. Don't know if I want to do wall art or like a photo gallery. I, I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do, but um, I'm liking how everything is coming together right here. It looks good. Guys, I discovered a new product for Bailey's hair. Because usually I leave her hair out and kind of spritz it with a little water. And then I usually use the Cantu curling, uh, coconut curling cream to like curl it up. But I discovered this, which is the Zimmy Moisture Intense Curl Gel. It moisturizes, defines curls, no frizz, no, frizz, no shrinkage. And... Let me tell you, I love this so much because normally when I use the Cantu, like in her hair in the morning, by the time I pick her up from school, her hair is dry again. But with this, her hair still feels so moisturized and I feel like the curls are more defined than when I'm using the curling cream. Come, Bailey, come, let's show them your curls. Come, come here. Okay, she wants Peppa Pig or Peppa Pig book. Mm. All right, okay. Susie. Susie. Susie's not in this story. Susie. Well, let me show you guys. Like, Mr. Oh. Sticker. Mr. Sticker. Come, Billy. We have to come in the line. Mr. Sticker. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to see if you can show up on camera. Like, how oh. her little curls are defined and popping and all I did was I spritz it with some rosemary um rosemary I spritz it with this rosemary thing that I made and add the cream and that's it it just curled up so I really like it one that one is Bailey say hi Hey, Bailey, Bailey, say hi to the vlog. Say hi to the camera. Say hi to the camera and mommy will give you George. Say hi to the camera. Susie. Susie's not in. That's not Susie. That's Zoe the zebra. Zebra. Yeah, that's Zoe zebra. That's not Susie. With Susie. With Susie. I don't know where Susie is. With the... Bailey, you took out those stickers. I don't know what you did with them. Mm. What did you do with them? Susie, what's up, Babbit? On All right, so Bailey is done for her nap, and I'm going to start the paneling project. Uh, <laughs> which I'm somewhat nervous about but I think I will be fine um you guys would have seen that I got the wood yesterday so this is what it is and what we end up doing is that we combined like we just tape all of the boxes like this is one box this is all the panels for one box and I also got the no more the Patek's no more nails so that's what I'm using um measuring tape of course because you need to be precise and i'd ask the guy in the warehouse to cut two inch blocks and four inch blocks for me because i'm using these to mark my separation um also have pencil of course for the markings and this is very important a leveler um to make sure that it's even and balanced what else um 
yeah i think that's all the supplies that i'm going to be using oh and a scissors to clip off the top of the no more nails and yeah oh i wanted to tell you guys how much i paid for everything so the no more nails was one thousand one hundred and eight dollars and two cents um before tax and the molding which is the dido molding that was one thousand two hundred and seventy four dollars per panel and i think i got 13 so in total for the supplies from um phil's hardware was twenty thousand three hundred and twenty dollars and fifty two cents oh and three thousand two hundred for cutting because apparently them charge per cut like a hundred dollar per cut so i paid that and you know you have to throw in two guineas for the you know the guys <laughs> um if you want to count that in but yeah so that was that's pretty much it um so let's start i think i'm going to start with this line first and I watched a YouTube video in terms of how to use the no more nails and it's really just to put it on the back of the panel and tape it down. Now actually I'm going to start with the one at the bottom. So that is the 32. So that's one of the longer, the longer sides because that's 32. 32 by 20 32 by 20 um let me just make sure oh these are the two top ones okay i'm just trying to make sure i got everything okay awesome awesome so I know. so this first and the separation from the what do you call this? The floor molding is two inches, so that's where the block comes in to kind of like help me gauge where exactly I'm supposed to be placing this. The only thing for me, this don't go flush against the wall, you know, so with the no more nails, it's going to be difficult. And then I also need to get um, like fillers but i'll get that afterwards i just want to place the panels first and then do all the fillers and touch-ups afterwards but yeah let me start on this project um let me show you guys how i'm doing the blocks so you can get a better look or a better idea of what i'm doing let me see how Oh, I can't go with this. All right, so this is this is the four inch. So the separation is four inch from the wall and then two inches from the ground. So I would place it like that and then put this here. Y'all get it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't have a caulking gun so I have to use like the spoon to push it up so I can get the product out because it's so hard so four by two and then we're doing it this way and the detail little goes a long way it's leveled i can come down okay here we go it's leveled now i probably can use this to stabilize this part and then in the building because the problem is it's not let me see if I can show you guys you see that I'm having it's not flushed against the wall like right here so 
So I'm gonna see what I can do. So guys, mission DIY has been aborted. And I'm so annoyed because this is going to be I told you this is going to be an I told you so moment for doing. But whatever. You can let him have it. But yeah, I definitely need his help and we definitely will need to drill. So I don't know, maybe tomorrow we pick up um where we left off, but right now I'm just gonna relax, eat my cheesies. No, not cheesies, cheese crunches and cheese and edit a vlog. But yeah, mission aborted. Mission aborted. Yeah, so I'm getting ready. Um to go out now i'm actually going by my friend tracy she's having like a birthday games night and i'm heading there now i'm super tired i don't know like my energy level is just really low really really low if it wasn't for tracy i would be my bed and I think it's because I'm just like tired because I went to sleep like at 4.30 this morning and I got up early and I didn't take a nap. But yeah, I'm not wearing anything stiff or some anything special. Just a shirt that I just tied the front and some jeans. Um yeah, this is pretty much it. I am about to wrap her gift, which I haven't done yet, so let me go get tape of course we'll find the worst tape possible in this place but tracy when you watch this vlog just know that this gift the wrapping it's not because i don't love it girl it's because i got no time <laughs> This is her, this is her gift, like a perfume set that I actually want to smell because I asked my mom to buy it. And first of all, I asked her to get the Miss Dior. And when she went in the store, she was like, well, she, my sister and my brother-in-law was insisting that I get this one because it smelled way better than the Miss Dior. So it's called, jeez, I'm trying to take, I'm trying to take out a smaller one to smell it. Why is this not coming out, sheesh? Yeah, so they were saying that this smell better than any other perfumes that I was suggesting. Yeah, let me tell her good night. But yeah, they were saying um, that it smelled better than all the others that I was suggesting. So, well, on, how do you do this? I don't even know. And my mother is like, I bet you if you smell it, you're going to ask, you're going to want one. So we'll see. I just put on my skin, so... It smell good. It smell good, but I'm not sure if it smell better than the others I was suggesting. Yeah, it don't wrap properly, but we move. Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome to another day on the vlog. And another day of being a mother or a parent look what Bailey did you know what this is my blush she emptied up my entire blush and crushed it up in pieces on the bed 
this is what we're dealing with this morning. Ah, oh, boy, oh boy. interrupt the cooking to show you guys what I'm dealing with look what Bailey did Bailey came to the kitchen I didn't realize and took off the cornstarch from the counter and came out and spread it all over the table and then come show me her hands saying that she messy Bailey what you have to say for yourself look at mommy what do you have to say for yourself from one thing to the next this morning it was my blush on the bed and right now it's cornstarch on the table ah the joys of being a parent mm -hmm. 